Okay, so the topic today is customer service. Now, if you're wondering where I am, uh, I'm actually just overlooking the Chao Praya River in Bangkok. And the example I'm going to talk about, about customer service, is coming from Bangkok, coming right up. Okay, so this is not an example of customer service from supply chain per se, but I think it's a great example of outstanding customer service. So let me just tell you a little story that happened to me last week. And what I'd like to, you to think about as I'm going through this story is to think about your own customer service and how you could rejig your service to really meet and exceed your customer's expectations. So let me take you back a week or so. Uh, I was here with my wife, Pat, uh, sitting in the back of a taxi. The time was 4.25 in the afternoon. And we were coming back from a, a shopping trip, sitting in the back of the taxi, and I happened to remark to Pat, oh, you know what we should do? We should actually drop into our local hospital here in Bangkok, because I got some great cream there last time for some irritation that I get on my hands. And uh, this was at 4.25. So she jumped onto the internet, had a look at the uh, hospital website, and she said, oh, the dermatologist is on duty until five o'clock. So she then rang the hospital and said, is the particular doctor available? Yes, he's here till five o'clock. Uh, she basically then said, um, so I'm coming in with my husband, here's his name. Uh, would you be able to pull his file so the doctor's got it when we get there in about 10 minutes? So we rock up at the hospital, we're now at about 4.35. Uh, and you wander into the entrance in the hospital and like you have never seen so many staff at the hospital. Uh, there's admin staff everywhere attending to patients and checking them in. Uh, we wander up to the registration desk uh, and say, look, uh, we just want to make sure that our file's been pulled and it's been sent upstairs to the dermatologist. Yep, it's already been sent up there. He's waiting for you on level five. So then we get up to level five into the dermatology section. Um, and sure enough, uh, the file is sitting there uh, on the reception desk. Uh, there's a nurse there who just does some preliminary checks. Every time you go in this hospital, they check your blood pressure and your weight and height and that kind of stuff. Uh, so she does all that and she says, follow me, come around the corner. Um, and there are three or four consulting rooms for the dermatologist. She said, take a seat. Two minutes later, we're shown in to see the dermatologist. It's at about 4.45 now. Um, so this is 20 minutes after we made the first call and uh, he flicks through the file. Uh, he saw me last time I was here. Yep, no problem. I can prescribe some more of that cream for you. And we're out the door at 4.55 uh, with a prescription and we're at the um, outpatient pharmacy on the same level. And the prescription is uh, issued out straight away and we are leaving the hospital out the front door into a taxi at five o'clock so just think about that for a moment in terms of outstanding customer service it was 425 when we made the call and we actually got to the hospital the file had been prepared we saw a specialist no need to see you know a general practitioner first we were straight in to see the specialist treated by the specialist um, paid for the consultation picked up the uh, prescription and we're out the door 35 minutes from first phone call I mean that, I just thought that was outstanding customer service uh, if you're worried about the cost uh, or you're wondering what the cost was it was 1200 baht which in Australian dollars is about $40 um, you know for local people here that's probably quite expensive um, but I, I was just amazed and I never ceased to be amazed at the service from this hospital that we go to in Bangkok so Think about your customer service. Think about your supply chain. And how could you make your service really awesome so, so that people would talk about it like I am now? You know, what are, what are your customers really value? Uh, and, and what sort of things can you deliver to them? Is it fast service? Is it reliable service? Um, you know, are, there, are there some value adds that you could be doing? Okay, well, you know the score by now. Uh, if you have any questions about this topic, do comment below. 
Um, if you want to like it, that's awesome. If you want to share it, that's even better. But hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed uh, because these videos come out every Wednesday and we talk about all kinds of topics on supply chain. So I'll see you next week.